I am not my mom, okay? I know. So then why does she matter? Her actions, her words, they don't define me. They influence you. You are Quinn's world. <sighs> and I don't think that I can be a part of it anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm not losing you because of my mother. Hope is with Wyatt right now. If you think she's coming back to you tonight, you're cuckoo crazy. Oh, cuckoo crazy? That's such a compliment coming from you. <laughs> Fine. Be delusional if you want. I just thought you should be prepared. Well, that's sweet. Is that why you came by? Come on, Quinn. The reason you showed up is because you plan on ambushing Hope the minute she walks through my front door. Hmm. She's not coming. Quinn, Hope all but committed herself to me tonight. She's finally seeing you and Wyatt clearly, and by the way, she's not the only one. Brooke, Eric, everyone over at Forrester who matters is on to you now. And as soon as the word gets out about what happened to Ridge and your involvement, you and Wyatt are out at Forrester. And more importantly, you're out of Hope's life. Don't get ahead of yourself. I work at Forrester because of the quality of my jewelry, not because of my sparkling personality. And I'd be very surprised if they fired me because I accidentally emailed a photo to Ridge. Well, human resources might think But right. even if they do, it's not going to change Hope's feelings for Wyatt. Quinn, why would Hope want anything to do with him now? Oh, why would she want a man who treats her with respect, who doesn't waffle and bounce from one girl to the other? Guess why would she want a guy like that? You, you, you have a very narrow view of me. Oh, I'm sure you have many fascinating sides, from rescuing kittens to deep-frying tofu in a walk. I mean, I'm sure the party at this house never ends. It doesn't. You can leave any time you want. Yeah, well, you've seen their connection. You've seen their passion. Hope may have led you to believe that she will be coming back here tonight. Words said in anger because of something I did, but... After spending some alone time with Wyatt, I'm sorry. She's never going to leave a real man to come back here to a boy like you. I feel like I'm losing you and I can't let that happen. <sighs> Wyatt, you knew that I was going to make a decision. You knew I wouldn't drag this out forever. So this is decision day? Right after my mom did something horrible? Look... You have waited all this time, you dated both of us, and now you're making a decision based on a reaction. No, that's not what I'm doing. Yes, yes, yes it is! Ridge might be dead because of my mother, not me. This is about more than Ridge. Okay, so forget about our parents. Forget about everyone else. Look me in the eye and tell me you don't love me. You were not ready to walk away from us. You know what's so strange to me, Quinn? Ridge is missing right now. He could be dead because of you. And I can think of a million things that you should be doing. You know, praying, groveling, fleeing the country, to name a few. But instead, you choose to spend your time coming over here and harassing me, trying to make me doubt my relationship with Hope. You have some messed up priorities, lady. Just because I'm not weeping or gnashing my teeth doesn't mean I'm not concerned about Ridge. Oh, yeah? Do you feel guilty? Do you feel guilty? No. Of course not. People are suffering right now, but you don't care. You have one thing on your mind. Why it must have hope. So go ahead. No, please. Belittle me. Try to make me think that hope is staying elsewhere tonight. I know better. I know that your lies are finally catching up to you. I know that this one-track mind of yours is about to bite you in the butt. It's not that I want to walk away from this. Okay, that should tell you something. Yeah, it tells me how much you've meant to me. Don't, don't do that. Don't want the past tense. I don't want to give it up. But I have to. Because I really can't take it any longer. Everything that your mom has done... Doesn't even matter to us. That's what I'm trying to get you but to it, understand. But it does matter. It really matters because she has such a huge influence on you. Then I'll distance myself. I I'll prove you wrong. I think that maybe you could do that if it were just about her. So it isn't then? 
No. So then it's me? No, it's... It's me. It's... It's the way that I've changed. The things that I'm justifying. I... I convinced myself that the Diamond Heist wasn't a big deal. Oh, my... Okay, this is... This is Allie, then. No. Allie's gotten to you. This no. is what this is. No, Wyatt, this has nothing to do with Allie. Yes, it is. She's been harping at you and getting inside your head about the Diamond no, Heist. No, Wyatt. Look. I'm not mad. I'm not... I forgave you, and I meant it. I meant that. It's... You know, it's, it's not about the diamond. It's... I don't understand. We had a lot of fun together. And I think that you came into my life at exactly the right time. Really, when I needed you. But when it comes to settling down and starting a future... You know, when lying comes so easy to you, no, 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 when no. punching Liam is your answer... Like he hasn't hit me before? No, it was different. You were kissing me while, while he and I were engaged. But you didn't want to be. Otherwise, you would have been the one to hit me yourself. All I know... is that I've had enough. So much has happened. And that Ridge could be dead. What am I supposed to do with that? Wyatt, I'm always going to care about you. But I just can't do this anymore. Do you do that? Somebody's feeling all high and mighty. Well, girl, you and Wyatt are done for, so... Yeah, pretty much. This is all your fault. Excuse me? How do you figure that? You couldn't just go away. Move to Paris, be with Steffi, find somebody new. No, you had to stay here, pining away for hope, persecuting Wyatt every chance you got. She was happy. She moved on. Stop getting in the way! say these things, but I know you don't mean them. Not by the way that you're looking at me right now. I was dating both of you, and you knew that it could go either way. I knew that it was me, and only me. I knew you'd finally get Liam out of your system. You, you still can. I had to make a decision, Wyatt, and I made the one that I can live with. No. You're settling. No, that's not what I'm saying. Yeah. My mother made an insanely stupid mistake. Unforgivable, but that doesn't mean go running off with Liam. Don't lump everything that I have done in the past with everything my mom has done. We are the, different people. The past? Yes. Why you just punched Liam a couple hours ago. I know, and I'm sorry about that. I lashed out, but you should have heard the things that he was saying. And I'm saying that I've had enough. Of me? Of my reactions to you. What are your reactions now? And now, don't sacrifice everything that we have built because of a punch or because of my mother. A punch? I don't believe you. I was confused. Okay, Liam had, had just let me down so many times. And then I came along. A different kind of guy. Someone who, who only focused on you. Someone who, who means what he says. What is it about me that scares you? Huh? It can't be a diamond. It can't be a punch or my mother. You love me. Yeah, I do. Okay. But I can trust Liam. And not me. Because of my mother. You know, I confided in you on that trip. About us. About everything that we did to, to, to survive. To make ends meet. Sending Ridge to stop my mother's wedding has absolutely nothing to do with making ends meet. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know it sounds like I'm blaming you for things that your mother has done, but it's more. It really is more than that. What is it that you think that we have in common? That we, that we both make things happen? Yeah. But is that such a bad thing? You'd rather spend the rest of your life with a guy like Liam 
who, who writes fashion articles in between yoga classes and, and rescues puppies and, and, and saves kittens. And those are things that are important to me, Wyatt. Those are things that I enjoy, and I'm glad that I'm with a man who thinks about something other than himself. When I am with Liam, I know exactly what I'm going to get. That's what I want. That's my future. You don't get it. What? You and Hope? Yeah, and you never will get it, because you don't understand who Hope is or what she stands for. I've seen all the Hope for the Future billboards, values and principles, blah, blah, blah. It's not difficult to grasp. And yet you don't. And neither does your son. Morality, Quinn, is very important to Hope. Yeah, she was seduced by Wyatt, manipulated by you, but with the kind of integrity she has, I knew it wouldn't be long before she saw you and Wyatt for who you are. And now, it's done. She's ending it right now, freeing herself from Wyatt. And we're going to be married, and we're going to have a life together, and this time, Quinn, this time, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure you can't do a damn thing about it. You are angry, frustrated, confused, scared about Ridge. You blame my mom, and rightfully so, but I can't let you give up on us because of her. I warned her. She's trouble. She's crazy, Wyatt. I, I, I agree. I, I, I've been looking the other way, and I never should have. Because you care about me. Focus on that, on us. I have changed since being with you. Look where we are. Hmm? There's a reason why I brought you here. Up to Big Bear, where it all started. Just take a step back. Spend the night here, no. and in the morning it'll all it'll all make sense. It'll no, be clear. No, no, it, no, no. So then you stay in the cabin, then. I'll stay in a tent in the backyard. And in the morning, you can get up. You can snap a picture of me. I can chase you through the woods again. Why? And you'd fall. Like, you know, you'd fall because, you know, let's face it, you kind of a class like that. And i kiss you. And we could start over. I can't do that. You know, maybe... Maybe I made a mistake trying to play it cool with you. Not to rush into anything and, and, and not to make a commitment. I wanted to be different than Liam. No pressure, no ultimatums. You know, you needed to see that there was someone out there who could bring out a different side in you. And you did make me see that and why I wouldn't trade anything that we had. Then don't! Don't! You know, what would it mean if you end up with Liam right now? Why would you want to go back to that insecurity? I am offering you complete devotion here. And I know I, I've made mistakes along the way. Mistakes that I have owned up to. And yeah, I got a crazy mom. But have you ever doubted that I couldn't handle her? No. Have you ever wondered if you were my top priority or not? Because I love you. I do. With everything that I am. And I always will. Which is a reason why I brought you here today. <sighs> Say yes. Wyatt are so passionate. Why it's so much better. What are you, a, a middle school mean girl? Don't worry. I won't steal your lunch money. Yeah, you're not going to steal Hope either. I don't have to. You lost her a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. It was a little rough for a while there. And Wyatt swooped in, started taking advantage. Started treating her as more than a second choice, you mean? Yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. That's what Hope was to you, somebody to be with when Steffi wasn't around, somebody you can easily toss aside. Wow, aren't you the expert on a relationship you have zero first-hand experience of? Oh, okay, so, um, tell me, how fast did Hope run away from you when Wyatt came around? Because that'll tell me everything I need to know. That was because of you. Or have you forgotten all the crazy crap you pulled? <laughs> really? I didn't force Hope to start dating Wyatt. No, you just forced Hope to stop dating me. 
Oh, wait. You mean because of that silly tribute video that I forwarded to her? Oh, scary. Oh, mean, mean Quinn. She's capable of anything, even sending an email. You knew the damage that would do, just like you knew the damage bringing my ex-wife to L.A. on my wedding day would do, Quinn. Really? You give me far too much credit. I have no idea how you or Hope are going to react to any given situation. You know what? I may stack the deck... For my son, yeah, every now and again. What mother wouldn't, but I didn't manipulate anyone. I didn't lie to anyone. You made that video. You chose not to share it with Hope. And when Steffi showed up for your wedding, I didn't know what you were going to do. I mean, any normal groom would say, hey, babe, you know what? I'm going to catch you later, after my wedding or after my honeymoon. But you know what? You fell back on all your old patterns. You're gross. You're just angry because you know I'm right. You lost hope because of your choices. You want to blame me because you think my interferences mattered. I just exposed you for who you really are. Why it's going to remind her, which is why she's not coming back here tonight or ever again. <laughs>